China study was based in part on laboratory research and in part in China. We learned that a diet that's made up of fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, whole food, plant-based diet has an amazing ability to not only prevent serious diseases, but actually cure them. All biological events, those that cause disease, those that cause health, they all start with from a genetic basis. But whether or not they occur is the influence of nutrition controlling those genes. Good nutrition, plant-based diet, emphasizes good genes and suppresses bad genes. So it's really the nutrition, not the genes even though it starts the genes. Well, the traditional way of treating illness, when somebody goes to the doctor, they expect to get a pill. Those pills are single chemicals used to affect something very specific about that disease. Sometimes they work in the short term, but doctors don't realize that they don't need to use these pills in most cases. All they need to do is to tell the people, change your diet in the right way. And amazingly, a lot of these diseases disappear. Well, in the pharmaceutical industry, they make a drug to see if it does something that's desirable. Then they test them to see if there's some undesirable things. That testing uh, is usually much too short yeah. because these so-called side effects that occur might not be seen until after a longer period of time. So the testing is not adequate, but even worse, in my view, the drugs should not be used in the first place because they're guaranteed to cause some problems, side effects. When we know that diet could do the same thing and do it better without side effects, so why do it in the first place? Of course, we don't do a very good job testing, but that's secondary. The primary thing is why do we rely on drugs? I worked in that world for a long time directly uh, in Washington and other places. I was on the uh, panels that decide, you know, what the information should be and, you know, other kinds of policies like that. And unfortunately, uh, industry supporters or advocates are sometimes on the panel. Uh, it wasn't so bad in the other year, earlier years, but now the industry has found a way to have the chairperson of that panel be picked first and somebody's friendly to the industry. And then they pick the rest of the people. So the influence of industry can be really substantial, very strong. Also, the people who are on these panels, they may be getting their money from, from industry to do the research, or they may be getting private money, honorarium. That, that's okay, I mean, they do that, but the public doesn't tend to see that. And that definitely uh, strongly influences each person. If I'm getting money from the dairy industry, and I'm getting a lot of money from the dairy industry, and I'm sitting around the table, maybe the dairy in industry at that time is not paying me anything. But all my research is going on. So if I say something sitting at the table that's against the dairy industry, I can guarantee you they will take away my money. So, you know, the public tends not to see that. So they have the ability, the industry has an ability to control us. You have to decide in your own mind, almost in the beginning, I'm not going to do that. Not, not try not to do it, just don't do it. And uh, I, you just don't make any exceptions. I don't want to go so far as to say that. I mean, I think the World Health Organization is a a lot of very good people with good missions, uh, uh, for sure, and I'm sure that they help out in many cases. I, 
I don't want a world without the World Health Organization. I think the World Health Organization needs to be supported. There's no question about that. Um, each case is different, uh, but uh, the World Health Organization is very similar to other government agencies, national or international agencies, because uh, they have to. They want to be conservative. Otherwise, <laughs> they've got uh, industries to uh, deal with. And so um, we just have to look on a case-by-case -case basis. And, but as far as the agency is concerned, uh, it should be supported, maybe even more than it is now. What does it consist of? Vegetables, fruits, grains, whole grains, of course, legumes, uh, fruits, uh, maybe some nuts. You know, it's a whole intact food. Uh, and it, it's, that's what it is, whole intact food. If we take out the sugar out of the plants, or we take out the refined carbohydrates out of plants like starch, we take out the oil out, we stir it all up, you know, we, then we have a Danish, you know, or something that uh, is not, it's not quite right, it's not a whole food. We take out the worst part and eat it, and the best part we leave behind for the pigs. So, <laughs> we, we, we should eat the whole food, because that's really where the good material really is. I answered that question in the book. That is the, the Big China book, not the China study. We have a big book. No, this, this is a big, about 900 page with all the data. We said we can't use correlations to infer causation, for example. The critics come along and says, they do what they say to me, you can't, use you can't use correlations to infer causation. I said, where did I do that? I said, read the book. But they still say it. They just refuse to listen to what, they, they, they just want to ignore it because they don't like what I say. So they make up stories. <laughs> They're not honest. So it's really hard to answer the question because that's what they do. And uh, so if I say to them, okay, you, you tell me I, I didn't say that. And then I'll turn the page and read this, would you? I, I have a slide that I took the quotes out of the, off, out of the book. And I'm going to be giving a lecture on this in Los Angeles soon because somebody wants me to talk about this. I will show what they say, and then I'll show the slides. Here is what was written, page so-and-so, go look. It's, it's just, they're very angry. Some of these people are very angry, and they'll do anything to say anything to try to discredit what I'm talking about, because I'm talking about big business.